Hey right guys, Trifia Reacts here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Bridgerton Season 7. Season 7, bloody hell. And this probably will have about 7 seasons, to be fair. What? Mm, definitely a 4th, definitely a 5th. I reckon 6. 6 seasons for Bridgerton sounds perfect, but anyway, episode 7 of season 3, not season 7, uh, which is the penultimate episode to the 3rd season. We ended the last episode with Colin basically finding out that Penelope is... Lady Whistledown, so that's going to be interesting to see how we react to that. Probably not great, uh, but yeah, episode 7, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel. And Patreon is linked down below uh, if you do want to join us over on there for the uncuts to this. Like I say, we have The Boys, that is, I've done all three episodes to that now. Uh, we have House of the Dragon on Monday and then we have The Bear Season 3 after that. And then plenty more shows on the horizon, so, but for now, episode 7. Let's do this. You. All straight into it. Colin, I... Do not try to deny it. Terrified that your carriage driver had abducted you to this part of town, when in truth, Oof. you knew exactly what you were doing because it was you who printed tonight. Well... Is it not you who has been Lady Whistledown all along? There it is. It's out there. Do you are the one that is a fault I will never give you. Never? Damn. We'll see. Yeah, that's... Can't even blame him. Hey, but on the bright side, at least the new copy is out, so the new edition. Take, for example, Bridgerton House, with its shining reputation. <laughs> She's on an iPhone, then. That's why several of her children have had rather rushed engagements. Bloody hell. He won't hear it. He won't allow it. This author certainly has. Calling out the Bridgerton House. We already have it, Mrs. Wilson. Another whistle down. The Don't real whistle down. Very well. Oh, thank goodness. Dearest Jen. There we go, we got her back, we got her back. And so I can no longer sit idly by. Well, that lasted an episode. <laughs> Imagine if you had the five grand on the table as well, ready to give to her. The truth, and I cannot tolerate a lie. <laughs> yeah, she respects it. Here, until Aunt Joanna arrives to collect you. Until then, you are not to leave. You can't blame her for trying, though. Did you see the man she had to marry? And have you seen her dad? Mission accomplished. Minus the Colin bit. The cameraman's sneaking in the floorboards. How many eyes exactly do you think there are in the town? Double the amount of people, I would imagine. <laughs> what the hell? I'm so glad to see you printing again. Eloise, he knows. Oh, he followed me last night. Uh, How is his condition? He doesn't know Eloise knows. Are curious? But he will know. I cannot help you with this. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me, but already I feel in the middle between you and Colin. Again, fair. I understand. This is my mess with Colin, not yours. Forgive me. It's time, Eloise. Let's water under the bridge, surely. We're taking some small steps, to be fair. We are always trying with all our might, but the weight of the world cannot always be upon our shoulders. You do not sound like yourself. Well, she's had some strong words with the brother. It's something you and your brother have in common is a very kind urge to constantly help others. <laughs> well, she won't hear it. I am here for you, Agatha. Always. Even when there are no unmarried children oh, yeah. left to help. <laughs> it means a great deal to me. I love these two. Well, the Violet was in uh, Queen Charlotte as well, wasn't she, I think? I know Lady Danbury was, but I can't remember if Violet was. I think she was. How long have you known? Oh, what made you think that she knows? I saw you leaving a private room with Penelope ah, yeah, last yeah, yeah. night, shortly before I found her. I had been trying to make her tell you. You should have told me yourself. And you should have told me you were in love with well, my best easy, friend before you tripped into the drawing room again. I have been trying to make her tell you. And then I thought, why break your heart as well? Yeah, I think you can surely understand why Eloise didn't just tell you. You should have tried to once. But she has not written anything withering about anyone. Or, or if she has, they have deserved. Are you forgetting what she wrote about me at the start of the season? Yeah, well, she was angry. <laughs> I think you should consider yourself uncommonly lucky you have never been in love. Oof. Why'd you have to pull that one out? The hell? Colin. Oh, we had them realize they stood next to each other. <laughs> My mother was curious about our not seeing each other recently. It's only been like a day. I guess that's quite dramatic, I guess, at the times. Perhaps that was another part of your planned entrapment. <laughs> I did not mean to entrap you, Colin. I love you. What will this marriage be? A sham. I noticed there was no whistle down this morning. Are you going to stop publishing? I do not know. It's our legacy, bro. Come on. Let us get through this wedding, and then we will decide what this marriage will be. That's a good start. I assure you, Lady Bridget, and I do not know the reason. I do not either. God. 
People are picking up on it. Please, let me explain. Tilly. <laughs> Simple enough. And there we are, teleporter. <laughs> it's just like funny watching the Prino Lies summer school before this. Where this is like, it leads into the scene. And then that's just like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the editing of the last step for Prino Lies was horrendous. And Mr. Suarez also likes to be intimate with men. As does Benedict, don't they? I think he hooked up with the guy in season one. Correct if I'm wrong. I have known men like Mr. Suarez, but I myself have never felt tempted. And yet we are all bred to believe that the only persons worth conversing with are the thousand or so who inhabit a few square miles around Grosvenor Square. Yeah, that is tragic, isn't it? If you did not feel anything with Mr. Suarez, he definitely let did. us, you and I, continue on our own. But she'll sack him off. But you should know, my staff are very discreet. Well, that helps, I guess. Lord Anderson has come to call. Oh, uh. <laughs> Court of God. <laughs> Lady Bridgerton, it is good to see you. You as well, Lord Anderson. Uh, would you uh, like some cake, tea? Oh, I would be delighted. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, she ships them both. Francesca is keeping her distance from me at the moment. <laughs> did I tell you that she and Lord Kilmartin have been secretly engaged? Oh, I did not hear. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, she doesn't approve. Well, she like mid-approves, whatever that means. But its fruit is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Lady Bridgerton. Has that filled you up? Buy the cookie. Do you think perhaps the two of us could explore something together? God, everyone's moving rapid on there. To be fair, it's probably been a few weeks, but even then, but still. <laughs> well, he, he threw it out there, I guess. You must put an end to this. There is nothing I can do. Your father has threatened to send me to the countryside as well. <laughs> it's causing bloody ass. If I too am banished, there is no hope of ever bringing oh you back God. to society. But we have to write such cruel things about the Bridgertons, Mama. Could we not have picked another family? Bridgertons so often feature in Whistledown that it would have been strange not to mention them. Yeah, it went a bit hard though, didn't you? Bringing them down a peg. We well, didn't really bring them down a peg already because no one believes it after two seconds. The shoulders look like quality this. streets as well. What the hell? She is the one person who's ever shown me true friendship. And where is she to comfort you now? Well, seeing as she thought she was whistled down and you just bitched about them the entire time. But <laughs> your logic is flawed. It is every person for themselves, especially amongst women. Yes, you have. Yeah, great logic. You would be wise not to forget it. I thought you were not much of a drinker, Lord Kilmartin. No, I am not. But in my defence, your mother does not like me. No, our mother does not not mm. like you. Yeah, it's a middle one. Martin, our mother adores you, but our mother also has an obsession with great love stories. <laughs> just so you just have plenty. Rocks throw rocks at Francesca's window tonight. No. Your problem is that you're trying much too hard to be respectful. I shall see you tomorrow, bright and early. Hmm. Hmm. I love these four hanging out. <laughs> Is everything well? Is everything well with you? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you both have your little secrets, don't you? Motiste. I had hoped you might come by the night before your wedding. God, we've got two acts in a row. Blessing us. Penelope's in a raincoat. You're a girl. I don't know her own power. Does that justify it? No. Oh. There's no going back to the past. All one can do is be true to one's choices. And look forward. Wise words from Motiste. There's no such thing as true love without first embracing your true self. Happy wedding eve. Wedding eve? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> god everyone bloody pisses themselves when they drink alcohol, don't they? We know what you're going to do, Benedict, so just go and do it. Sitting there debating it. Oh. Is that Colin or Benedict? Colin, perfect. What are you doing out here? I don't, in fact, do not answer that. It is clear I found you in the midst of some <laughs> secret dealings. I do not wish to know. And what secret dealings have I found you in the midst of? All alone the night before our wedding? They're just stumbling in the streets. All of the damage you have done. Wouldn't the neighbours hear this? It is clear you do not, after what you have written about me this year, that I hardly know myself. She was pissed, bro. That I simply wanted the Colin I know back. Not this stoic man you returned as, acting as if you care for no one and need nothing. I should have told you myself there are so many things I should have done myself and now with the confidence you've helped me find this year I'm finally able to. She has points. Not that she's right, but... <laughs> I let you talk so much about my journal as if I were to be this great writer when all this time 
You have been a published writer, renowned across Mayfair. Colin, I meant everything I said about your writing. Yeah, I don't, that's different. I don't know. That's the point. Colin, I can take care of myself. Then what good am I to you? Colin, I love you. He's stunned. I love you. Bloody flabbergasted. Have they said that yet? I don't think they have. Oh, really? All right, bloody hell. I mean, it is wedding eve, so... That was easy. You two made amends well rapid. That took 27 minutes. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm sure we still have some conversations to be had. You know, if Colin gets over it in this episode, I'd, I'd respect that. Like, you're not dragging out the Marty vibes. We'll see. Oh, there you are. Oh, Anthony. Rude we got Kate as well. It's just very late. We do. Late. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, uh, what am I? Chop liver? Yeah, but Kate's in the room, Anthony. Like, what do you... <laughs> What do you actually expect? I do not wish to unburden myself to you two with your perfect marriage. Oh, yeah. Do you think our marriage is perfect? Is it not? Oof. We are more than happy now, but it took us time to get here. Yeah, but that was be that was before the marriage, so that's I'm not going to count that. What happened? Then you cannot let one mistake define your entire relationship. Marriage takes hard work, but it is work that is worth it. Our marriage is not hard work. You are wearisome <laughs> tonight. Yeah, they make it look so easy. Based on the five scenes we've had of them this season. I will see you at the church tomorrow. Good night. Look at him, he's man. Another Kate and Anthony scene. Very good. We better get a couple more before the season's th through. The night you escaped, nearly escaped. I had no concept of what you were running from. I was ten years old. I was ten? What? I have wished so many times that I had stood up to him. For you, for myself. You are not the only one who was made to feel that they had been found wanting. I think it's fair. I get why she's pissed at him. But... Why did you never tell me any of that before? We don't really see each other, do you? I guess you didn't know. Perhaps I have subconsciously taken notes from our father. You are nothing like him, except the cane. <laughs> Though yours is far more stylish. Do not come for my <laughs> Any joy I am after, I deeply hope you are a large part of. Oof. You know, I'm glad... See, this is like one of the side stories that's actually good. Builds on her, builds on him. It's something different. Come. Well acted. We have a wedding to attend. And I felt like it didn't have like too many scenes. We are like, all right, we get it. It's like, but lady, he came into it in what, three, four? So it's like a three, four episode arc. Are you ready for your dress? Yes, father. Yes, but I will be rating the dress out of ten. the most beautiful bride. Mm. She'll be second because Kay exists, but second ain't bad. <laughs> lady Whistledown is not a lady at all. Okay, fail, fail. Next. Oh, she figured out a clue. I mean, that kid was just looking right at the camera, man. I love weddings. You mean you love Kate? Oh, Colin's come in a suit. Shocking. We're giving Colin's suit a six. Out of ten. All right, let's see this dress. Is this Coldplay? They're playing Coldplay now. You know, I'd rather Coldplay over Imagine Dragons. Coldplay kind of overhated, I think, <laughs> a little bit. Colin just faints on the spot. Maybe she'll faint. Oh, the veil kind of goes hard, though. Whatever you call that thing. Oh, Eloise crying. <laughs> She's got some twigs in her hair. I, I give the dress a seven. It's not the most exciting, but it's Susa. That just kind of sounded like I'm just saying Charlotte's not that exciting, but you know what I mean. I, Colin Bridgerton, take the Penelope. We did have some dramatic run out of the wedding moments. Be my wedded wife. Something. <laughs> with this ring, I thee wed. Oh, they're actually getting married. Who'd have thought it? I mean, we all thought it. Be man and wife together. In the Do we applaud the in the olden days? And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost? Amen. Better be no ghost sir. Yeah, we do clap in the olden days. Okay, that's good then. Oh god, just me. Hello, it's oh, that's a simple, easy piece of lemon squeezer. Congratulations, Penelope. Thanks, Twig Hair. Exceptionally fine bride. Would you like to say how you really feel now? It is how I really feel. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Are you feeling in better spirits? I am. Yeah, they made amends. Making We're all good. Is a relief. <laughs> it's all well with you. I saw you crying at the ceremony. Simply tears at losing another friend to marriage. <laughs> Maybe it was dust. Maybe it was dust, yeah. Sure. Which brother or sister do you like the best? Gregory, clearly. 
mean, it's clearly Benedict. At least you two are having a conversation. I know there is room enough in your heart for the rest of us. Love is not finite, Eloise. Yes, Benedict. The friendship you have with Penelope is a lucky thing. As is the one you have with Colin. <clears throat> a lot of dust in here too. <laughs> He's off. He's off to get his man and his woman. Are you fleeing? Honestly, Fez. <laughs> At this point. Right like the wind, Bullseye. Who we got here? Oh, run number. Your tea, miss. I need your help. <laughs> that her new husband is not only a reader, but has cultivated in her a love for the outdoors. Your sister. Shocking, I know. Oh, sister. Her sister was actually pretty cool. I forgot her name. You cannot imagine how charming our town in India is. It's been so long since I've ridden there. Well, I should like to see it. Well, go then. In fact, I should like to see it soon. Before our child comes. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. The journey takes months. Yeah, and if we go now, we will have time to prepare for the birth there. There's Anthony. will always be a Bridgerton. But I should like them to know they are a Sharma as well. Yes, may. And people actually prefer Daphne and the Duke over these two. Give me a break, man. No offence. And we will return. Look at him! Please do not make me love you more. I do not think I can bear it. Uh, Daphne and Duke can bear it. Whatever, man. Where are they then? Where are they, the here? Whatever it is, I know you will resolve it. The important part is that you're married now. Yeah, I guess, thanks. I zone out when the mum talks sometimes, I do have to admit. Could we get away from here? I have spent so long clinging to walls like this. I do not wish to do that any longer. Where do you propose we go? McDonald's. I do not think I have it in me to greet any more guests. Then perhaps we could dance. Floss. Very well. Very well. I know this song as well. What song are you? Oh, it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> God's sake, of course it's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Coldplay, and the Magic Dragons. Wow. Where's Charlie XCX Man, who I'm seeing live in November? Does it? Oh! I love it when they do this shit. Did they do that in. I think it's Queen Charlotte they did that in. Would you like to dance? Lord Gilmartin. Yes, dance. I do not mean it. But perhaps we should both be more bold in declaring ourselves. That's me. I, I actually love these two. These two are great. If they're like the couple for the next season, I'm very okay with that. I think we need to learn a bit more about both of them individually, but it's a good start. Lady Bridgerton. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Oh, Lord Anderson. I Look at Kate and Anthony, but I won't shut up about it. He oversteps. Oh, I think they move quite beautifully. No, not them. <laughs> oh. Our family is happy and together. <laughs> He's... Do not take that for granted. Yeah. Don't get too involved. Now play Charlie XCX. Her Majesty the Queen. Sympathy of a Knife. Sim sympathy of a Knife? Of the Knife? I can't remember the name of the song. Play that song. That's a banger. Lady Featherington. Your Majesty. Okay. <laughs> the guy trying to bow. Not a Bridgerton may go. Are you just disbanding the wedding? Now. Did she figure it out? Penelope, you are a Bridgerton now. Oh, yeah. I wonder if she's like, if she's figured out a clue. Someone in this room has something to hide. How do you know? And I shall not leave until they come forward and reveal themselves. How do you know? What 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 did you leave? It is I. What? I bear the secret. What secret? You. I am engaged to Lord Kilmartin. Oh, okay. I have been humbled by your majesty's interest in my prospects. Yeah, she didn't, it's not all about that. Declaring myself, but I love Lord Kilmartin. <laughs> and I plan to marry him. Your majesty's blessing, of course. <laughs> That is no great mystery, Miss Francesca. Your romantic sensibilities <laughs> have been obvious for some time. Uh, first. You do not need my blessing to marry. <laughs> but that oh. is not why I am here. That was easy enough. I was stressed about I nothing. Speak of Whistledown. <laughs> Whistledown. She is in this room. Well, ain't Danbury. You can scratch her out, can't you? Cause she... Is Eloise going to take the play? I don't... This very family suddenly Whistledown rushes to print. I bet Eloise is going to step forward. Miss Cowper intended to publish. That is what roused her from her hiding place. And why? Clearly because she is one of you. Oh, okay. I mean, 
That's not the most clear evidence. I assure you, if such a thing were happening in my home, I would know of it. Well, and I would have put a stop to it. To be fair, it's not happening in his home. But even then, calm down, Anthony. That's not like the best evidence. Hold your tongue another night. I shall loosen it soon enough. Oh, you gave up so quick. I don't know, I would have stood there for an hour. If, you, if you're so dead sure on it. And a weasel step forward. Do you know what it is like to have nowhere in the world you can truly be yourself? You cannot possibly know because you are not a woman. She's got you, bro. Most women have is to conceal the parts of ourselves the world will not accept. I am whistled out. Yeah, I don't... She shouldn't hang it up. That'd be such a waste. I cannot accept that. Well, Colin, you need to grow up, mate. You travelled the world and learned nothing. Okay, interesting. I shall sleep on a sofa tonight. Wants to sleep on some IKEA furniture. All right, mate. There we go. It will be all right. <laughs> it will. Eloise will take the blame, I think. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Oh, bro's nervous. It is pleasant to see you again. And to see both of you. I've been thinking about your offer. And I accept. All right, you three. Thruple. He... Someone needs to correct me, like, if he... I'm pretty sure he has hooked up with another man before. Or maybe it was just like they were flirting and they didn't actually hook up. Might be misremembering. Oh! Show you guys out. You're not her, though. I, I, I've always wanted to meet her. My boss at the last place that I worked used to print for her. Said that she was... Oh, a you there. idiot. Oh. What else did he tell you? You idiot, mate. What are you doing? So the payments for Whistledown is the one she's going to try and collect them all. Collect all the coin. Sure. All right, there we go, guys. That is episode seven, the penultimate episode to Bridgerton season three. Really great episode. This one was one of the better ones, actually, of the season, I'd say. Maybe the second best of the season? I don't know. Um, I feel like all the stories worked, all the character moments between everyone, even, like, the sisters. Like, we had a nice moment with the sister where they weren't just talking about getting pregnant. It was actually giving out a compliment to Penelope. I thought the mum was bearable, with Pen Penelope's mum. Uh, but yeah, I feel, again, I, keep, I feel like I'm repeating myself with this, but I just, I like all the romances going on, like Colin and Penelope are good, there's good drama going on between them, like this episode, having Colin know that she's whistled down the entire time and trying to convince her to, to drop it all, but she's not really willing to do that, and rightfully so, I'm glad she's not just dropping it all for Colin, I mean, it's so ridiculous, um, we got Kate and, Ant lots of Kate and Anthony in there, and he's willing to travel to India to so she'd give birth in India I think the plan is and then meet Kate's family and then they'd come back here I guess and uh yeah so I like the, the, I mean obviously I like those so I, th I still think season two is the better season out of the three but I do prefer this one to season one um uh yeah I do I, all in all I think the first half of season one really had me but obviously if you've seen my reactions you know why season part two of season one really lost me uh then we have Benedict with Tilly and whatever the guy's name is. That's, you know, early stages on that base, but we'll see where that kind of goes. Eloise was good. I like Francesca and Kill Guy, whatever he's called. Mr. Kill Man. <laughs> uh, they've got the approval of the Queen, so I assume that will go ahead in the next episode. Violet and Danbury's brother. There's just so many couples that are all working. Like, they all have chemistry at the moment. Uh, which is really good. So, uh, yeah, we got the wedding, which went off without any hitches apart from Colin. Again, I can't blame Colin for acting the way he is, to be fair. Like, he, I thought he'd drag it out till the next episode, but in this episode, he seemed to be actually, you know, being happy with Penelope in some sense. So, it's not perfect, but yeah, I assume the Queen is going to find out. And I think Eloise is going to step forward for Penelope. Because um, it's not like Eloise plans to really get married anyway, so it's not like it's going to ruin her reputation or in, in that regard i guess we'll find out so yeah rating for this episode i'm gonna go uh it was better than the last one so i'll give it an eight out of ten i think this is a really really strong one so uh yeah one episode left and i'm excited to see what happens i'm gonna jump into that pretty much now anyway i'll give it, give it 30 minutes and then i'll jump into it but thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know you thought the episode down below in the comments and i'll see you next time for episode eight the finale to season three until then take care peace